guys, it's Bruce and Connie from the Unlocking the Magic podcast. And on this video, we are going to list our top favorite theme parks in Walt Disney World. We're going to rate them one through four, excluding water parks, right? Right. All right, let's do it. Who's first? You go first. Wait, is it going to be you, me, me, you? You, me, me, you, you, me. Let me yes. write that down. Hold yes, on real quick. go. Okay. First one, Magic Kingdom. Come on. I mean, that's just nostalgic. It brings out the kid in me. There's nothing like being in the Magic Kingdom and riding Dumbo the Flying Elephant and just feeling like you're a kid again. I do love the Magic Kingdom and many of my top attractions or my favorite attractions are in the Magic Kingdom. Was that short and sweet fruit enough for you? That was pretty short and sweet. Okay, that's what I figured. But it's not my favorite. Uh, Is this in order? Like number one, number two, number three, number... Yeah. Uh, yeah. We just said top, right? Uh, yeah. And I said we're going to rate them. Okay. Number one for me is okay. Hollywood Studios. I knew it. You knew it because no I love the shocker. food there. There's the sci-fi dinner theater. There's the primetime cafe. There's Tower of Terror. You know, our youngest daughter loves the rock and roller coaster, Star Tours. Yep. Uh, One Man's Dream, the museum I love going and seeing. Even though they changed the video, I was sad about that a little bit. Tear rolled down my eye. But you know what? It's still one of my favorite attractions. And I feel like our philosophy of the show is to sit back and relax and enjoy your time there. And that has the best relaxing feel to me of any park. I agree with you. That's why it's my number two. <laughs> Yours is the number two? It's my number two. It's really hard for me to rate these. You, I really feel like all of them are number ones. But anyway, yeah. number two, at Hollywood Studios, for the same reasons that you chose. I like the feel, but I'm going to add in, I love the Hollywood old... Hollywood glam. I do love the Main Street. Yes. And the shows that they put on throughout the day, the actors that go there. Yes. Uh, it just makes the whole thing come to life. Awesome. All so right. My number two is the Magic Kingdom. I was just All right. Yours is number Shocker one. Shocker here. Two. And let me just say this. These, just have, cha say these have changed for me. Because you're going to say do yours, anyway. do yours change? Yeah, I guess they do, actually. Mine changed. Like, if you asked me a year ago, these would have been in a different order. That's true. I never thought of it that way before until you brought it up. So maybe we'll have to do this every year. This is the 2017 version of every my top Every six four. months. Yeah. Well, year. Every year? Yeah, that'll change six months. That's too quick. Okay. But mine's Magic Kingdom, and for all the reasons I just said. The classic attractions like the People Mover, the Carousel of Progress, uh, the Speedway, Space Mountain, Splash Mountain. So many of the great classic attractions are at this theme park. Um, and I do love Tom Sawyer's Island and Adventureland. So yeah. And one Too of my to yeah, one of my favorite things to do is wander around the parks at night. And the Magic Kingdom to me at night is just a special place. All right, number three. This one was really hard for me, and I think it was perfect timing that you mentioned how they swap for you. Yeah. Because my third and fourth swapped around just recently. My number three is now Animal Kingdom. Really? Yes. Which used to be Epcot. So sorry, Epcot, you got bumped down. Bumped, bumped down. down. Um, Usually we say bumped up. Yeah, I rate my kids. Is that normal? Oh, yeah. And I bump them up and down. I rate my kids, too. They do for me <laughs> on a weekly basis. Okay, back to this. Epcot number three. I'm sorry. Epcot number four. Animal Kingdom is now my number three. And mainly because they've just added so much and just changed the overall feel by keeping it open at night. I haven't even seen Pandora yet. But, I mean, it's not open yet officially. I've we sneak through the fence I was just going to say. We snuck a peek. Yeah. Um, uh, moving on, let's keep going so that we don't get in trouble here. Um, but I have to say the whole feeling of Animal Kingdom now is just super amazing at night. And it just, I love, speaking of relaxing, that is definitely my new favorite place. And going on Everest 17 times before they close is that amazing too. as well. Yes. Actually, my number three is Animal Kingdom as well. Perfect. It's the same thing. Um, Cheater, you looked at my notes. I didn't look at your notes, even though they're right there, and I could have. <laughs> okay. You did a very good job hiding those. Yeah, I know. For the same reasons as Connie, you know, the ability to go to Animal Kingdom at night now and see the tree at night light up, and then to go on Everest at night, it's just amazing. Riding Everest at night and creeping up that mountain, yeah. and then getting to the peak and looking around and seeing all of Walt Disney World lit up is super amazing. Oh, wait, you kept your eyes open? I did. I actually recorded it. Oh, yeah. I went live on... I saw Go over the, to our Facebook page and check I that out. I saw the recording. I after. went live. The, it didn't come out too good because I was with an iPhone, but right. you can hear us screaming and then the flashes of light here and there. See, when we're going that high up the mountain and I raise my head up to look over, I instantly just feel how high we are and I just go back right down and close my eyes because it's really high. Okay. That's because you're a little guy and I just do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to actually get up out of your seat. I actually have to peer over. Yeah. It's very frightening. All right. Wait, um, I wasn't oh, done. Oh, sorry. Hold up there. Okay. 
I was trying to make them quick for you. I, I thought know. Listen, you liked them like that. Not so quick. <laughs> oh, okay. But Dinosaur 2 is one of my favorite attractions. This in, is what I do on the game. podcast, eh? It is. J and if you go, you can kind of see, we have some videos of behind the scenes. Those are pretty funny. All right, go. So Animal Kingdom is my number three. And same with Connie. If you asked me last year, Epcot would have been number three. But right, now I want to talk. got down on the bottom. Okay, here we go. Whew. That was long. All right, can I go now? Okay, I'm just going to continue. All right, so number four, I'm really sorry, Epcot. I'm sorry to bump you down. But for now, you're number four. I love you still. I do love... The World Showcase, and I absolutely love Future World, but Animal Kingdom has got you a little, I don't know. It's time to step up your game, Epcot. Yeah, sorry, okay. Um, no, mine is number four, mine number four as well as Epcot. I and feel bad, I can't even believe it. I, I know, I, I used to love these. going around the showcase, I, and to me, the showcase has just gotten so busy. They have all these festivals, festivals right. of the arts, the Flower and Garden Festival, Food and Wine Festival. All right, Festival. wait, wait, you know what? Let's just let's just cut you off right there, though. How awesome is the food at Epcot? I it is awesome, and I love the festival. I just feel that they're very crowded compared to what they used to be, and it is a place where <laughs> you can't necessarily relax at night. A lot of these parks, as we say, we go through at night, and we can enjoy the time at night. Epcot to me feels like the opposite. It to it, it really is. It totally is. But the food is pretty awesome. So now it I'm back in awesome. the food. Now I'm thinking it should be bumped back up. This is really hard. I don't want to do this ever again. It is. Well, we don't have to because we did it now. All well, right. in a year from now, we'll do it again. Perfect. So those are our top four parks, not water parks, in Walt Disney World rated based on our opinions. Let us hear what you have. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe to our podcast as well, Unlocking the Magic on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. But we want to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Let us know how you rate your parks in Walt Disney World. Your parks. Your parks. That's it for us. Sorry. She's weird. And a little bit awkward. It's just, you know. I'm not going to lie.